Welcome, everybody, back to the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. It is good to be back. It's kind of a slow news week. It has been for a few weeks now in the world of Xbox. We're at that time in between winter and summer, otherwise known as spring. And not a, lot, not a whole lot has happened or come out. I mean, we did get Diablo 4 on Game Pass, which is amazing for those of you who haven't had it there. Good. Yeah. And... Yeah. We've been enjoying games. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But other than that, not a whole lot of news. Yeah. 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 Jordan had a news story he wanted to talk about. But well, I, I thought know. this week was pretty funny. Oh, oh, there. Really? You tell me what was funny while I well, there was I got to put that we're live in Discord. There was the whole Stellar Blade breakdown. Oh, yeah. Because people are upset that certain characters are attractive well, in, in video games. Well, I mean, is that not the game that's overly aggressively attractive? I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind that. I know, but I'm... And I found out this week because of all that drama, it's literally based off a real model. <laughs> well, Yeah, it is. Well, every... <laughs> yeah. I mean... Uh, they showed the, the last... model, and you're like, yeah, I can see it. I see it. <laughs> there it <laughs> there, is. Oh, there it is. Everybody climb that ladder. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, so, hey. Is that yeah. why my YouTube feed is all crazy now? Because yeah, like it's all stellar blade. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, that being said, uh, the demo, if you have a PS5, uh, the, de the game is actually pretty, like the gameplay and game itself is actually pretty fun. Uh, but the, the really funny thing is Final Fantasy XIV players on Xbox are getting banned. Or we're getting banned this week. That's right. Because the, to get the Xbox uh, maturity filter is a little too aggressive. Uh, so basically people are typing normal things into chat and the Xbox filter is is flagging it and banning them. So for example... Give it to me. There is... and it, Some of them are, are pretty like ridiculous. But uh, for example... A free company in Final Fantasy is a guild. So you'll say, hey, I'm recruiting to my free company. Or, hey, I'm looking for free co a free company. Anybody, you know. Yeah. Xbox banned a player for saying, hey, I'm looking for a free company. Because it believed that was solicitating. Product. I mean, it makes sense because the word free is. Free there? company. No, no, no. Like. Oh. Escorts. Oh. <laughs> Free company. Oh. Well, when, as soon as they approve this, that loophole will be used yeah. for that purpose. Uh, the uh, the funniest one I saw, and this has kind of happened to Mark a few times, is um, it it finds words, and then it bans those words, even if the word is real. Yeah. So, for example, in in the game, there's a zone called Thanalin, and people could not type Thanalin in to the chat. Because in the middle of Thanalin, it says anal. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, one guy got, got marked or got flagged because he says, I was stuck in blah, 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 right? Like his character yep. got stuck. The end of was and the beginning of stuck spells ass. So <laughs> they banned that. Like it, it was it was just like, it was pretty, it was their, uh, their bot or whatever they have is pretty aggressive when it comes to I that stuff. Now, that being said, I some people were making a big deal out of it. I actually really don't think this is a big deal. I think, you know, most companies have filters like this, and I think Square Enix and Microsoft are basically just going to make a white list of terms and yeah, put that, you know what I mean? I, I, I think it's, you know, and, and all the bans are probably going to be reversed and all that, but it was probably, pretty hilarious. They better be. Yeah. Otherwise, you. That, otherwise, yeah. that's bad. That's really bad. No, night you, you was night was being flagged as well because it has three word letters in it. That's funny. So it was it was it was pretty yeah, it was pretty funny. So between that and Stellar Blade, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good week for drama. <laughs> <laughs> that it that it that it was. Welcome everybody to today's show. Thank you for being here. This is actually our five hundredth episode. Yes. Crazy five hundred. The big five zero. Five zero zero. Ten years as of what? Was it last week or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago. And then it just so happens that this is our 500th episode. 500th we've, episode. We've had smaller episodes that didn't get a number, like our reactions to specific E3 events and stuff like that. But as far as this format, our podcast actual yeah. format, this is number 500. That's crazy. That's an accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be another 10 years before we hit 1,000? Probably, yeah. Wow! If the, if the math, if the math, the math, math checks there. out, the math, if the math is correct, <laughs> if the math is correct, another decade. Yes, a huge thank you. Who has been around the longest? Who was here 
year one. I was. I was too. Yeah. So was Jordan. Jordan. Oh, we all were here yeah. year one. So outside of us. Okay, let's do it. Let's shall we do a quiz for everyone who's in chat right now, real quick? And if you're listening, shout it as you're driving. <laughs> and let us know. Maybe you know this. Who anyone remember the name of the fourth bro? Ah uh, yes. The fourth bro. This is OG. O G. You say what? A fourth bro? Yes, there, there was, was a fourth bro. There was a fourth well, okay. And name That was the fifth one. That was the fifth bro. Yeah, uh-huh. that was yeah, four Jim. and a half. So chat got one, but that was that's true. Chat said Jim. It's not Jim. It's not Jim. Jim was Jim was uh Jim was an intern. <laughs> was an intern. <laughs> The fourth that, that bro. was on like year five. He was an intern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's we've come a long way. It's been it's been a wild ride. When you look back, we're all lighter, younger, and better looking. Yes. So back then, back yeah. then, yeah, not now. So there you go. Uh, Fitzy says, "I can't remember, but wasn't it something, Dad? You're yes, getting close." Defenestrator yes. said something about my dad. Yes, we got <laughs> some OG. Getting close. Let's take some super chats here. Huge shout out and thank you to our super chats. We have Annie Ong. Welcome to Tier One Wingman status, everybody. Let's drop a let's drop a sexy X there for Annie Young. We have. Super Shocker, who has gifted five X1 Bros memberships. Thank you very much, Super Shocker. And Defenestrator gifted another five X1 Bros memberships. Thank you very much to both of you. Very much appreciate it. And everybody who drops those super chats. If you want to support the show, if you've been with us, maybe you've not been with us for 500 episodes, but let's say you've been with us for 100 episodes, for 50 episodes, for 250 episodes, and you're like, hey, I like what these guys do. Come over, consider supporting us, youtube.com forward slash x1 bros or positive gaming i think actually shows up as well Mm -hmm. and you can hit the membership button hit the join button and become a member and support us that way also you could just review us leave us a five-star review on apple podcasts actually we haven't gotten a new one on apple podcasts in a while everybody stop what you're doing go give us a five-star review over on apple podcasts a new one yeah brand new one helps us also spotify but apple Podcasts is still the big boy actually so but yeah, huge shout out! Thank you very much. It's been a it's been a long five hundred years. Can we talk about long some? five hundred years? Five hundred episodes. <laughs> that was a long. 500 it feels like five hundred years. Yeah, it does. I mean, <laughs> the world the world has changed like six times in that ten years. I swear. It's true. It has just, especially like tech. I mean, I think we all went from no kids to yeah, six kids between us. Well, in the first, I mean, the place we. Well, I guess our first episodes, we were remote. Like the first, like. Yeah, we were Wi-Fi, though, like 1 a.m. shows. 1 a.m. shows, remote. There was like two or three that we did, and then we decided to do in person. And in person, we were in that room. It was at David's house. It was at your house. It was. And it was like a closet. It was a very small room. It was a teeny, teeny yeah, it was room. a small room. Um, then, we, then we moved over to. We had a. Uh... Why did we decide the thing about in person? Because that's right, we used to it's do a more a remote. natural conversation. It's better. It just is better. In fact, when we go back, sometimes we have to do remote, like when we're sick or whatnot. It's just it doesn't flow it's, as well. Well, it feels impersonal, and if unless you're the host, you get cut off when you're saying stuff. You know, and they didn't hear your last comment, stuff like that. Just by yeah. the nature of a remote, yeah, it just feels it feels better. Plus, it's just hanging out with your friends. Yeah, in, in real life, not on a not on a yeah Zoom call. That's or, always a good time. So yeah, it just it just feels better. So that's why we did it that way. Uh, the couch shows says Soul Finder are great. Uh, yeah, so so to answer everybody's question, the fourth X one bro, reaching way back into the way back machine is rad like my dad. Mm-hmm. That was that was his name. There was a fourth bro. Anyways, go back and look. You could go back and look through the original. There's Chief Wiggum's in the house. What's up, Chief? All of them are on this YouTube channel, right? We uploaded all of them. All of them are on this YouTube channel. All of them are on this playlist. Major Nelson was on the show. Ryan McCaffrey's been on the show. Gareth Coker's been on the show. Gareth Coker, the musician from Ori. And he's doing more stuff now. He he just did ARC, the new ARC. Oh, nice. Uh, He did the music for that. So, Yeah. Wow, what a ride. What a wild ride. Let's can we talk about portable gaming real quick? Let's talk about I portable said a while gaming. ago I want to be able to play from anywhere in my house. Well, I got 
Yeah, hold on. Go to me. I got this bad boy. <laughs> Do you want me to go full screen we'll on vertical? You? It's so big, I can't go vertical <laughs> with it here. Here, I'll, I'll switch to you and you and Jordan. I got this bad boy, and I just have to say, thank you, thank you. If you know, you know. <laughs> but thank you. Ah, uh, and been playing it all day. Been testing it out. So this is the PlayStation Portable, mm-hmm. and this has no hardware in it except it's a screen. And it's a controller split in half. That's it. And it uses your PlayStation 5 to stream to. Tested it at my house. Then came here. Tested it here. So we're so we're going through two networks here. And played God of War. Played Helldivers so far to, just to test it out. And I have to say, I was right. I want, I want Xbox. I want this on an Xbox. And people will think, oh, well, why? You have, there's phone devices. There's the backbone device that you get with the phone. This is just better. That's it. It's like dedicated to wow. just streaming from your console to you being remote. I absolutely, like, I will be laying in bed finishing up God of War tonight. I'll be on the toilet finishing <laughs> it up. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Well, I think there's something to be said about having a dedicated device. I mean, with your if you're doing cloud gaming on your phone, there's something about getting a phone call, getting text messages, even if you disable the notifications. There's something psychological about putting that aside and grabbing a gaming yeah, a device point. and just being there to game. Yeah, no, I, I think so. Yeah, so remember when this was announced, it got a lot of it got a lot of flack and there is some stupid things that it does like the fact you can't use your own Bluetooth headphones, I think, is absolutely <laughs> foolish. But That's dumb. That's we do dumb. know that Xbox is looking at a a portable device. So is PlayStation. I think Nintendo is ahead of the curve. I think that's where we're going in the next generation because, and Phil Spencer gave an interview with Polygon last week and he said, look, they asked him about a portable and he said, look, we're looking, how do we expand who's playing our games. And he's talking about how do we, he also talks about how do we expand gaming as a whole, because gaming kind of has stopped expanding at this point. Those who game, we've kind of reached this plateau as of now. So how do you expand that? How do you reach new people? And I think portable is the answer there. I think there is a place to be tied to a desk, for instance, with a hardcore, powerful PC. There is a place to be tied to a television with your console, but having the flexibility of being able to undock a, a portable device, sit on my couch while my kids watch something yeah. or my wife is reading a book and be able to play increases my gaming time exponentially. Yeah. And my enjoyment. And it's just another, you know, another option. Mm-hmm. I, I think this device by play, by the way, PlayStation, well done. I think this device far more valuable than the VR. I think they should put more money into this than into VR. Than PSVR. Yeah. VR will have a place, but we're not we're further away from VR, I think, than for than this. So today was my first time using it. Yeah. All of us first time using it. When I first saw the reviews, it it was it didn't look very good because it seemed like there was a lot of latency or and lag. Now, that being said, we adjusted some internet settings and, and adjusted some settings on the PlayStation itself. Like, for example, uh, there's what were the forms you were reading? Bringing your PlayStation down to 1080p actually helps it run a little bit better on the portable because it's... Anyway. Yeah. So we, we adjusted some settings and playing both at David's house and now here at Mark's, it, I'll, I'll admit, it, it really wasn't bad. There was some latency, but if you were on vacation and that's what you like the only thing you had it, it's passable it's doable i yeah. i was saying so we played hell divers hell divers is where you can notice it a little bit more because it's a little bit more twitch twitchy shooter. shooter you know but god of war you couldn't really notice you can no- notice some stutters that that's the thing if they can get rid of those stutters you can notice the stutters in in the connection but i i could sit there and play god of war on it i and i think i can sit there what i told you david is is playing like final fantasy remake and final fantasy rebirth on those well, I, I think what single player games yeah although hell divers did play i would say at I was like impressed. 80 85 90% i was impressed with hell divers what i'm impressed with is the picture quality now there are some tips for instance and i was looking it up because at first 
I was getting more stutter. Yeah. Uh, and that's really what kills you is that just that the interruption jank. in the yeah. connection. And so what I did was I switched. If you switch your console, because it's just streaming what's from your console. So if you switch from your con- from what's on your console to output to just 1080, and you can even go lower. You can go 720. It would look fabulous on the device, actually. Then that is now streaming 1080 over your door. And it, it, it seemed to run way smoother. Yeah. What was what really stood out to me, though, was once we got here on the Wi-Fi, we're now on using two different networks. How, how really nice. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, Ethernet connection to your PlayStation. Don't go Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi. That helps. Yeah. But, yeah, and uh, I'm hard. I'm hardwired in. Now this I is, think my Wi-Fi, by the way, at my house is messed up. This Jordan, is, you're an internet guy. Why have you not? You need to come fix. Yeah, that. this is. I still don't know if if this is the device that I want or if I'd prefer a device that like this. This this is two hundred dollars. Yeah, roughly. I don't know if I want to get this and do the streaming or if I'd rather pay another two to three hundred dollars. And have an actual native device, native device that has you know well, some you more components it, well, and that plays directly from that well, native device. The question, you know what I mean? Like, well, what, here's, here's, what's, what's I, I think for me right now is I think they both. Here's the problem. No, here's the problem. What's better for you know what what's because, you know, here's the problem? It's not just a. It's not just. It's a two. It's like two ninety is what it comes to this device. So let's just say three hundred. We'll round up. That's three hundred. I thought it was two hundred. I think here. No. I think it's two hundred. No, it's not. I'll look it up, but I think you're wrong. No, I'm not. Go ahead, look it up. But here's the problem. You're not just paying for this device. You're then paying for a PlayStation 5 as well. So well, you're yeah. getting close to what an ROG Ally yeah, look or, that, you're right. or a Steam Deck would be. So you're you're getting right around $600. So you're getting right around $700 for this setup, which is an ROG deck. Ally or a Steam yeah. Deck, really. So so do you want... But an ROG Ally or a Steam Deck doesn't dock necessarily... Do you have to get you have to get an extra thing to dock it? You can get cords that... I know you can get, obviously, PC. the G- Yeah, GPU. no, I was right. It's $200. It's $199. Oh, it's $199? Yeah. Oh, but, it's, but, yeah, you're talking oh, about that. You need okay. a PlayStation 2. Yeah, yeah. Storage. Okay, so yeah. so 200 So, see, and that's what I'm saying. Do do I spend $200 on the which is a better price point. Obviously, $200 is more appealing than $500. It, and this is if you're already a PlayStation 5 owner, right? Because like you said, David, you also have to pay for the PlayStation 5 itself. Yeah. Do I want something like this? Or do I want to spend two to $300 more dollars? And have something that has components inside it that plays the game natively on it. Well, let me okay. and, that, and that's that's the balance. Okay, well let's roll. Well, hold, before before I let you go, before I let you yeah. go, <laughs> I will say this: from day one to where I first saw this, and I was like, "Hey, this isn't." Yeah, for I remember me. I was the it. only one that was like, "I want a device like yeah. this." And you guys, both I I did me. not. I believe you both mocked me. I will. I think <laughs> Mark made fun I, of my weakness. I size. I did. <laughs> Uh, amongst many other things. Yeah. I believe Jordan's words were, you want that? You have a small wiener. Yeah. And I was like, well, I want it. So, <laughs> no, I from day one scene, like a lot of people review it and then actually playing with it myself to what are we probably two, three months into it. They, yeah. Now, in, that being said, there's probably fairness, been, there's probably been updates of, and yeah, improvements. They said that the firmware updates have really improved it. I am more impressed with it now than I was initial first impressions. But again, I'm still... Do I pay two hundred for this, or do I spend another? Kid, you know, five, spicy. You know. Then let's ask spicy. Yeah, spicy. Let's say Xbox. Xbox we know is going portable, or is rumored to be going portable, and so is PlayStation. By the way, mm-hmm. do you want a device like this with a complementary box? Complementary box. Oh, like with like a this setup, PlayStation. Yeah, okay. yeah. For let's say it's let's say it's the next, but let's say it's the next generation. <laughs> it's not a breakfast at a hotel. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, let's that's say it's next generation over there. Yeah, yeah. Let's say it's next generation, and you have you, you have both, or do you want one standalone device? The the tricky thing is, can they bring you a standalone device at that price point? I think they can. Ah, yeah. it's so you're gonna lose a lot of money on it. I think because Nintendo, look at Nintendo's. Nintendo is not playing the hardware arms race game by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, their average game size, file size is like two gigs. Well, I think it's gotten bigger. <laughs> but spicy, what do you think? Would you, you want you want to set up? Let's say we get to next generation. We got a ballsy Xbox. 
Do you want a stream dedicated device or would you rather have the whole setup be a standalone Steam Deck type device that then you can dock? Loaded question because there's a lot of things. Let's let's say both work. Let's say both work and both work fabulously. Okay. Because that's important because uh, I, I believe this is the first time when I played on that device that it was playable. Because we I, we played it from here going to your house, so it was you know it was, you know a, a distance. A, every time I've played on cloud games, unless it was like a Stardew Valley or something that doesn't necessarily require latency uh, issues or fidelity, I guess is the, the good one. I don't know. Um, I if it works, that's what I'm getting at. If it works, then that's what I want. So um, then I got to think about well, in your case, I think. That works best for you because you don't necessarily go camping. You don't necessarily go out where you don't have access to internet. Yeah. Um, Because that is dependent on the internet. So if internet goes out, your portal doesn't work. If your internet is strong, if your source of internet is strong, then that is viable. If you are ever in a situation where it's not viable on an airplane or on the bus or wherever, then that becomes obsolete. doesn't work. Now... I also am even think, in like a road trip. You can hot spot your phone. That's what I want to test <clears throat> next. I want to test the hot yeah, spot but, in my but phone. But then you're still you're still, you're still limited to the service of your yeah, phone. Yeah. Um, so then I also think about well, battery life. When you have all that hardware, you know, turning things over, that's going to suck battery life. Whereas that thing is just a stream. It's basically. Yeah, there's it's not much in it, hardware-wise. Yeah, you know, it's just I've, transcoding video, mm-hmm. essentially, is what it's doing. It's taking the the signal from your PlayStation and just putting that into an H.264, H.265, whatever whatever the codec is, and it's just transcoding it, and so you can see it on your screen. That's all it's doing. So battery life is going to be way more viable on that than the ROG Ally yeah. or other things. So that said, in my situation... I would prefer that over an ROG Ally mm. because rarely am I outside of internet sources. Um, and there are occasions when I am. I have a, we go on vacations to play sometimes in, in the summer where there's no internet, but um, I have Starlink. But you've invested in Starlink, yeah. Specifically. They sell, dude, they sell Starlink at Best Buy now. They do? Starlink is about to become the the uh the the thing to get yeah so i have starlink now at at a place that had no internet and it was pretty dang good i think i was getting i was getting 150 down and 30 up yeah which for streaming um netflix and stuff like that is totally totally acceptable um and i was able to game on it although because the earth rotates and how starlink works there was a time where I every eight and a half minutes it would dip out for t- like ten seconds. Oh. It was really interesting, and it would tell you, it would warn you if it was happening. Really, but, um, that was on a very specific occasion. But so, I have internet wherever I go. That thing, because of the battery life and the fact that it's dedicated, I would probably prefer that one. I this weekend and that tra- style am traveling to the East Coast. I'm taking this bad boy with me. We're going to be doing some tests. Well, see, hotels, internet, notoriously suck the big one. Notoriously. I'm at an Airbnb, though. Okay, you're, you'll be fine. Yeah, we'll Pro- maybe. Well, well, maybe. As long as you're not going to L.A. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why L.A.'s internet is the worst. No, yeah, no. Why yeah. is that? Uh, Most things the over same. It's mostly <laughs> in L.A. The same, the same reason they have a massive homeless problem. <laughs> okay. Bad policies are bad. Are bad. <laughs> well, here's <laughs> here's the thing because I think I think I'm on a uh, I think I'm opposite of you guys because and one we're talking about like Xbox coming out with something like the Switch. I, I don't think they should necessarily do the Switch where you can like that's the console where you dock it and undock it and that's the console. I think they should have a console for your living room and then something completely separate like a portable like the ROG Ally. Just just a microsoft version right something completely separate the only reason i think i would lean towards the hardware is because even if you have internet wherever you're at there's always 
a chance, and I would say in most cases a substantial chance for interference, drop connections. You know what I mean? There's just there's there's a higher chance of that consistently happening. Yeah. And even if you have the best internet in the world, I mean, you can't prevent interference. It just happens. Yeah. You, know, you can't prevent. You know, it just it's it's not the Wi-Fi in my house sucks though, and I think. Spicy enlightened me. I think I never turned off. I have a mesh router now, and I don't think I ever turned off the original original Wi-Fi. So I'm sure that that's causing issues. Yeah, amongst maybe. Yeah, we'll go take it. We'll do, uh, amongst, have Jordan do it. Yeah, Jordan do it. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's good. All right, but I can come take a crack at. But it. I'm excited for. Are you in? Are you guys for or hesitant for if Xbox is ne- let's, their next console? If it, it were to be like the Xbox Switch, like a yeah, Nintendo I, I Switch, I literally type of just thing. said I don't think they should do that. Yeah. Well, I I think that I think, would be a. I I think that should be a supplementary. Device. I think you should have a dedicated yeah. console for your living room, and then you should have a separate portable device. Yeah. Now, whether that be streaming or I would prefer actual hardware. Yeah. yeah. Like an ROG Ally, just Microsoft's version or Xbox's version. You think they can get a Series S? In a handheld? I think with that kind of money, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I mean, they're not going to be paying for that. Consumers are going to be paying for that. You think we should go and back so to cartridges? so the price point will go. <laughs> look, at, look at the Apple goggles. Those yeah. are $3,500. Yeah. No normal person is going to be buying those. No. no, no, no normal meaning people that, yeah. that eat Little Caesars. There is a price point <laughs> you know? on both consoles and portable devices and i'm not sure the steam deck price point is correct or they are well, yeah, i don't know i mean seven, it's seven hundred dollars for a handheld device is it's, for it's, is for hardcore gamers well and i think that's what they're targeting though i don't know but a con well they mm-hmm. may be targeting that but a console and especially phil spencer's talking about getting more people you don't get more people by going more expensive no oh, yeah yeah I don't think you should do like the switch does what it does and it's good at it. I don't think you try and copy the switch. I think you have a separate device. You're you're if, not the switch. Yeah. You, I think you know? if you could get the Series S and other people have said this. This isn't me saying this. I agree with it though. If you could get the Series S in a handheld and then you have like the Series X makes total yeah well, I'm mean, there I'm done look how much smaller the S is than the X yeah we're almost there just a little <laughs> bit smaller a little bit thinner. <laughs> And, and then if you it. drop like the Siri, whatever the next Xbox is, which I'm with you, Jordan, actually, the more I think about it, we need to, I would, let's start from scratch on a name. Yeah, I actually, I'm just looking at Because where we this. go next? I prefer the PlayStation number system because now it's just confusing when we talk about it. Like I just say Xbox now because, and then I just encompass everything. If you well, think I'm I talking think about they, the old one, I great. If you think I'm do. talking about the I new think one, they great. just go, go and say Xbox. And then Xbox Portable, but but they they always have multiple versions of an Xbox. A so does less, PlayStation. I know but PlayStation Five. What if we date Slim. it by year. The twenty twenty four Xbox. You, you have to have an, an additional. Uh, oh one. yeah. Xbox and they can't say Slim, but they could say. Yeah, you're right. The series you kind of have to have that. Yeah, it's still. Three sixty could have done better. The three sixty was a their good naming name. profile. Yeah, the three sixty was a good name. name. But then what would you do the next one? The 720? Yeah. Then the 1080? That's what people... That's what we were that's calling That's what everybody it. was... Yeah, then the 1080? What would we be at right now? 1440? I mean... They, <laughs> and then just go all the way up to 4K. <laughs> they should have gone sequential, but because PlayStation was coming out with PlayStation 3, they didn't want to come out with Xbox 2 because Play 3 is higher than 2. That's why they went with but, the And then PlayStation went with their handheld, the Vita, which is hilarious because... The Vita, when you look back, the Vita was a really good device. Did you have a Vita? No, I had a portable. Then I skipped the Vita. Yeah, the PSP. Yeah, the PSP. And the PSP was a good device, too. Yeah, and it had those, like, encased Little discs, discs and stuff. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's where, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It's funny that we're kind of going. Didn't those ultimately kind of, like, fail, though? Yeah, like, this is, yeah. like, the next we're like this is like the next iteration of the PlayStation well, and, Vita portable, and, and they failed because of Nintendo essentially, right? Oh, Nintendo just, crushed them. Well, because yeah. Nintendo just dominated them. That, that, that was the 3DS era. That was, I think, it was yeah, it overlapped with 3DS. DS and 3DS. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, 3DS like was gimmicky, and yet 
it still outsold everything. It was really cool just, how it worked because you could just turn off the three D the three D slider. <laughs> there was a slider, so you just would get. And then they had multiple versions though too. So they had just the, the light, 2DS, the then, XL. Remember they had the flip one, the little square flip one, and the one that didn't flip. They all flipped. Not all of them. Well, they they eventually came out with like the the just flat one. Yeah, that's what I mean. But that was later. I mean, the original ones all flipped. Nintendo's genius, man. Nintendo. <laughs> uh, that's Xbox. The, uh, it's going to be interesting to see where we go because uh, a report came out today. IGN, actually. Let, let me read you the headline because I'm going to be talking about it tomorrow on my channel. But Good plug. But uh, X1 The Gamer for everyone that, for everyone that doesn't know. Um, Xbox is in the... This is IGN. Xbox isn't the only one rethinking console exclusive. PlayStation and to a lesser extent Nintendo are thinking beyond hardware. I like, how we've, I like how we've known this for a little while, but now that everybody had their tantrum a few months ago, yeah. it's, we're, we're finally now, talking about now it. Now that everybody got mad at Xbox for being the first ones to do it, you have IGN saying, hey, guys, hey, guys. Well, to be fair, IDN, and especially this writer right here, has it's been Devin. talking about it for uh, uh, a while. Yeah, Destin yeah, Destin. yeah, he has a good YouTube channel that I, that I like watching. Yeah, and if you scroll down, you can see Tom Warren. This was forever ago. This was February 14th. Yeah, right after everybody's Discussing the opportunity to grow PlayStation games on PC multiplayer. This is right in the midst of everyone unloading on Xbox. Over something we did not know. So let's read this quote right here. The entire industry is resetting. This is an analyst in of in the industry michael pactor says the entire industry is resetting the commercial reality with some companies realizing they have over expanded become unfocused in their strategies or become overstretched financially i believe the overstretched financially is probably referring to playstation maybe unfocused was xbox but the the ceo admitted as much with playstation so everybody's moving this we are at this shift in gaming that i don't think we've seen since the OG Xbox and the PlayStation 2. That was a huge shift in gaming. I mean, that's Dreamcast. Sega went away during that shift. I think we're in a bigger shift now. Mm -hmm. It's fun times. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, well, I the, there was an article on Pure Xbox, which... Speaking about uh, peop the games people play and the ho like what hardware and stuff like that. Here, I'll pull yep. it up. Um, uh, yeah, this is a really this is this is a really good article actually. Uh, this is from Pure Xbox. The title is Xbox and PlayStation's most played games in 2023 were averaging seven years old. Okay, wait. Before we look at it, I don't know, Jor Jordan. Have you read this yet? Uh, no, well, I saw what we. I didn't see oh, the games. Okay. Chat, but I before sure I we go down, let us know in chat right now. Pause this if, if this is already recorded. Let us know. Averaging seven years old, but between Xbox and PlayStation, who do you think what do you who do you think plays the average older game? Let us know right now in chat. Like, so what yeah, what we're saying is most people play games that are seven years old well, on their I, systems. I think they both do because... On I, average. I, I think it's a tie because I think the games people are playing are third-party games. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's I don't know what the games it. are, but I can guess two of them right off the bat. Yeah. Well, one... One's on image. screen, and the other one's one everybody on knows about. It's Fortnite. So, so right yeah. now in uh, chat... in the top three. Yeah. Right now in chat, everybody's guessing Xbox. Xbox plays the older games. No, you I... Would, you would think that's would be my initial thought as well because everybody's talking about PlayStation. PlayStation has these has these games that are coming out these these must play games. Guess what? The average age is on PlayStation. So um, this is according to a report by Newzu. It lists the top ten games in twenty twenty three based on their monthly active users in terms of Xbox. The average of the top ten is seven point two years old for PlayStation. It's 7.4 years old. So it's actually older. Which is fascinating. And if you read down further in the article, PC players, it's 9.6. Makes sense. You have a bigger, I think you have a, you have bigger a much larger I mean, library. Look, World of Warcraft is 20 years old. That's probably year. what takes it down. Do, Dota, <laughs> Dota probably yeah. takes yeah. it yeah. way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. League of Legends. So here's, here's the list on Xbox. 
The top 10 games by average monthly active users. You got Fortnite number one. That's probably going to be number one on PlayStation as well. I would imagine. Yeah, one, because it's probably the most accessible. Call of Duty, probably also going to be cross there as well. Grand Theft what, Auto. What's interesting about Call of Duty is that's one of the ones that is bringing that number down. Yeah, because it's, well, it's, yeah, they're Warzone counting, 2.0 is newer. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah they're counting that. Yeah. Um, so You've got Grand Theft Auto 5, Minecraft, Roblox. Roblox is a huge one. We don't, as adults... Understand how powerful that is. We yeah. don't, yeah. I... Yeah. I have done deep dives due to my job into Roblox, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Why are they playing this? What is happening with yeah. our youth? <laughs> yeah. Um, Rainbow Six Siege, still. Yeah, which is actually doing really well. Rocket League, Starfield, hey. Starfield is, of all the lists, Starfield is the only single-player experience on this list. Even on PlayStation. On PlayStation. Wow. Is, yeah, and it's it, the newest. Yeah, it's the only single player game on this list. Apex Legends and then FIFA 23. So, when you're talking about console wars, do ex do exclusives matter as much as we think they do? I think maybe in getting the initial hardware. I here here's what I've come to this conclusion because I've talked about the presentation of PlayStation versus the presentation of Xbox when you log in. If I was not a, if I was not deep in the weeds like we are, and I'm coming at it, and I'm fresh. I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to finally get a console. I'm going to go and play the Xbox. I'm going to go sit here and play the PlayStation. I think the presentation would drive me to the PlayStation, which is why I think the PlayStation has sold more hardware. No, I think the PlayStation has sold more hardware because of PlayStation 2. I think, I think the wave is still there. From play that it yeah, has that much but, of uh, yeah. lead. PlayStation <clears throat> 2 Momentum dominated. from back then. Well, yeah. are we talking like overall? Well, no, or well, what, what do you that, mean? Because Xbox 360. I'm, I enjoy my Xbox a lot. I have, I've had, I never had a PlayStation or PlayStation 2. I did get a PlayStation 3. That's when I jumped on. That's when I had more money to, to purchase on games. But my... You, you needed more money for the PlayStation 3. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that, yeah, you're right. Uh, but what got me my first console was everybody was playing Halo. Yeah. And so I, I got an Xbox. Mm -hmm. And I have rode that wave. Rode? Ridden? 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 Ugh, English is hard. I have ridden that wave uh, up until now, but now, of course, I I have. I'm uh, proud to say I have the Switch, the PlayStation, all that. You know, my PC. But I think the PlayStation Two really paved the way for people to just get the next iteration of the PlayStation Two. That's what the PlayStation Five is to a lot of people. Mm. It's the next iteration of the PlayStation, and that's what I think. I think it's still part of the wave that they're riding. I yeah, mean, but a lot of wrong. a lot of people, you know, get multiple consoles. Well, for momentum sure. matters in the console space, especially in the Xbox One trip out the gate, and kind. And I think a lot of that well, was that marketing was, again. That was a, we that talk was, about marketing. Yeah. Well, Remember that, Rise Son of Rome, and it got hammered by reviewers. Why did it get hammered by reviewers? Because I don't think that Xbox marketed it correctly. Control the narrative. That is a good. That well, is you, a good game. You had a bunch of people even back then that liked their PlayStation, and how dare another console show up? Yeah, yeah. And Rise was on. on you know, Rise yeah. was Titanfall. On that Titanfall is an hugely underrated. You want to know what headline I saw this week? In fact, if you just type in Google "Sunset Overdrive," the headline might come up. Sunset Overdrive, wildly underrated game on yeah, the it Xbox was, One. It was a really fun game, and I would like to see another one. And it was but, from a PlayStation guy that but was. But Insomniac that is now owned by. PlayStation, so I don't know if we'll ever see another sunset over. Yeah, so how and how games, right? how th there's 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 marketing issues there. What's interesting in, in this report, by the way, in general, listen to this. In general, and shout out to Pure Xbox guys, go subscribe to them. They're all Xbox they're all time. It's fantastic. You want website. you want to know what I like about them? They're not everything short. I can read something in five minutes yeah. or less. They don't go on. They just get straight to, they're usually re other s news stories. For instance, Polygon is doing the long interview and then they're summarizing the important parts for you. They've done a great job. Shout out to Pure Xbox. And to be fair, they're not pulling up half my page on subscribe now, please subscribe now, please. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I It's do not that. a hot mess. I do. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice, it's a good website. In general, across all platforms, players spent over 60% of their time playing games that were six years or older in 2023, which was an increase from 57% in 2022 and only 45% in 2021. Modern gaming. 
Modern gaming. Well, here's the well, thing, it's though. People of don't. Live service games. That's that's really that's what. Yeah, think that's 20, what the market 20, has wanted, and so that's what they. Well, think yeah, twenty twenty makes sense. Twenty. I w- I'd be curious what that number is in twenty twenty because that's when you're getting games. Grand Theft Auto Online was coming out uh, just right before then. Uh, Apex Legends was dropping right before then. Uh, Warzone dropped after that. So Fortnite was still fresh, and so everybody was jumping on that bandwagon. And so yeah, I think Spicy's right. It, it went. The reason it's increased since 2021 is live live service live games. Ser- Probably came around in, what, 2019? Really really started to come on? Yeah. But well, we've had them for a while. I think they started to, like, like really get bit. Like, everybody was going free to play, like, doing the Fortnite model and stuff like that. Yeah, I think the, I think the success of Fortnite really shifted everything. So 60% yeah. of all gamers' playtime last year was on games that were six years or older. Yeah, all last week I played Final Fantasy on the Xbox online, which is a what yeah, is that's it? that's insane. That's insane. New releases accounted for twenty three percent of overall playtime. That's an increase compared to nineteen percent in twenty twenty two, with most of that attention going towards franchises with annual releases, such as Call of Duty and NBA two K. The rest of the new games added up to just eight percent of playtime. Across all so, these platforms. So if you were to remove Call of Duty or like the the Call annual of Duty games, and NBA, yeah. It's only eight percent. Yeah. That's nuts. Only eight percent well, of game time. And think about this new games. That means that means Diablo four is one of those games in that eight percent. Hogwarts Legacy, Baldur's Gate three, Elden Ring, Starfield. They're all in that eight percent. I bet you they are eight point two percent. Well, and then what does it say? Eight point three percent. All of those games accounted for three point five percent of last year's total playtime. Yeah, that's all of them so combined. I mean, so that sounds like bad news. In fact, that's what this quote is saying. This sounds like dire news that it's hard to be successful in, within these constraints. But actually, these are hugely successful franchises and hugely successful games. And so the fact they only counted for three percent of your playtime means that you don't need you don't need to reach a lot of of people's play time well and when you say play time like if you take Hog- like the last the last four hogwarts legacy Baldur's gate elden ring starfield at a certain point you're done yeah so i think that like if you look at fortnite and call of duty they're ongoing diablo games. 4 is not though diablo 4 is ongoing no no, no i know but that's why i said you take the last four hogwarts Debatable. legacy hogwarts <laughs> yeah <laughs> hogwarts legacy Baldur's gate 3 elden ring and starfield i i believe the reason they're naturally going to be lower anyway is because at a certain point like they're huge for a month or two and then everybody drops off and because they're done right yeah. you know what i mean they have a finish point whereas fortnite call of duty and grand theft auto online don't necessarily well, let's have go let's point. go through us so jordan this week what have you been playing this week i've i've been playing uh i've been getting ready for phase three of classic world of warcraft season of discovery yeah, and then i 20 year old game yeah <laughs> as of this year we'll be 20 years old and we're literally playing the 20 year old version because it's classic <laughs> what's funny is i remember where i was when i first saw that game mm. being played and then i i played uh, Final Fantasy fourteen online on the Xbox this week. I went in and I got all my controllers set up uh, and everything. And I say, I how long did that take you? That's what's preventing me from jumping um, in on that game. I don't know because I jumped 30, in thirty, like, thirty, forty minutes. Yeah, forty that's minutes exactly from a veteran. Yeah, you're a veteran. Well, I mean, too. not like, but the co- but the controller is vastly different than the mouse. No, and no, keyboard. it's like so. I can't do th- like for example, if I'm playing on the mouse and keyboard, it's just because I've been playing the game for so long. It's just like okay, uh, map M, M is map. Yeah, I play you know, my like, video <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just like it's. I I can't do things yet. Anyway, I can't do things as quickly yet because for, it's because of like on the keyboard it's just you hit M for map. On here you hit hit start and you go to map. You know, so it's it's relearning a new interface. But I got everything set up. I've been playing all week. I've been doing the new Final Fantasy sixteen crossover event that they have. How so, is it? What do you what do you think of it? On yeah, Xbox? it's really cool. I mean, Clive's in the game. He's a really cool character from Final Fantasy XVI. Yeah, but how how now that you're set up? Because see, I need to set. No, it up works. Too. It works really good. Like I said, I mean, it was if, very if you're cluttery. Going, the default is. Ve- I think they should switch it and give me minimalist, and then let me add to it. Yeah, because it was. So you can you can go in. Super so cluttery. I go in and like even I, I, on a big TV. Even you're like I can't. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I I go in and I like lower the scale because I think it's scaled at a hundred percent. I lower each thing to like 80% to make things smaller and fit. And you can, you can revamp the whole UI. It's all built into the game, which is really nice, even on the console. So I, yeah, I've been playing on the controller. Um, it's just a matter of getting used to it. I, I, I'm not as quick as I am on the, on the mouse and keyboard, but that's just because I'm used to it. 
and I know where everything is. Now it's just learning. But as for playing the game like combat, moving around, it's very well done. I, I mean, I think if you're an MMO, there's really only one other MMO that has kind of the same ability set up, and that's World of Warcraft. You just look at Final Final Fantasy has created the template for you. Yeah, like that is true. the way they do their action bars on the controller is is really well done. Yeah. Um, and the way you switch and hit your face buttons is, is really well done. And, the, you know. So it's, you it's can, fun. you also can connect mouse and keyboard. I believe you can. I believe, well. I, I believe, I, I don't know if this is on the list, but I think this is on the list it, of it keyboard is. games that it work. Because there are certain games that work keyboard and mouse I on should, the Xbox. I, I have debated on getting a wireless one. They have ones built for like couch gaming. Yeah, like, like the Razer Turret some, yeah. and all that. Yeah. I've debated on on getting it just for just for this experience. It would be nice from your couch on it. I don't know, though. I don't know. Once I'm sure once you see, because me, I jumped in to play it. Because I was on a roll with it. And I was like, all right, here we go, baby. Here we go. Well, you're at the beginning, so you literally don't have to set up anything. I have to set up everything. Like, no, you don't. Have you, you have turn like, this first thing on? So, like, you have like nine. Like, this is like four cro- abilities you're using. You're like level yeah, yeah, five. Okay, okay. That's true. But just like, look, we're here in the marketplace. And when you default on. Can you do um, a controller version? So yeah, can we kind of see, see the Xbox? The, like, how can we do it's, like how on it's, Xbox? Because look at right here, like. When you when you log in, this is where I was in the marketplace. At this is the starting city. Yeah, in Ulda, in in anal. This anal. is Thanalin, by the way. <laughs> that you're not allowed to say in chat. <laughs> it it's a hot mess. Like I was like, oh, dirty, oh, dirty. I don't think I can. I don't think I can look at this. So While we're waiting for that, though, here's I, the controller setup that we're getting ready to look at. But. Okay. Hold on one second. I do want to sh- do a shout out to that we have it. We missed uh, Chief Wig, uh, Mr. Scott Teberin, gifted 5X1 Bros memberships. Thank you very much for that, Chief. We really appreciate it. 5X1 Bros. Mem- and, and huge shout out. If everybody got a free membership, uh, hit the drop an emote. Drop a BFF emote for Chief there. Okay, so here is the controller setup. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. No, no, it's really good. So basically what you have is you have... How it works is you have um, you use the face buttons and the D pad, so uh, A B X Y, and then up, down, left, right. And what they do is they have right trigger and left trigger as like your modifiers. So you initially have sixteen buttons because you have eight, mm. eight on right trigger, eight on left trigger. So you have sixteen buttons that you can put all your abilities on. Which, if you played him, like that's more than enough for a, a basic rotation. And then you can also switch action bars from like he's on action bar once. So you can go two, three. You can all you can have eight action bars. So 16 times 8, right, you know, you can have all these abilities where you want, and then you can further customize it as you see fit. But how it works is those buttons aren't always active. They're only active when you pull left and right trigger. So if I want to do, like I have an, on a Dragoon, you have an ability called Mir- Mirage Dive. If I want to use Mirage Dive, I can't just go hit X. I have to hit right trigger X because mm-hmm. when you're not holding the triggers, you know, A is interact with people, Y is jump, B is to get out of the, you know, it works very well. They've you they've they've sat down and they put in the effort to make this work on a controller, and it is the template standard for MMOs like that. Now, like I said, I think there's only one other MMO that has the abilities like this, which would be World of Warcraft. Yeah, I mean, there's more, but let's just that's the other big one, uh, and and they could do a controller setup just like this, a- yeah. and I think it would work just fine. Um, but because um, when you look at games like um new world or or ESO ESO in particular like they were designed with the controller in mind so yeah. you only have six bar your six abilities that can be active um I don't necessarily think new world was controlled or was designed with the controller in mind but in this latest update their season 5 update which I also played this week they added official controller support mm. and I actually prefer playing new world on the that controller seems, because it actually feels a lot better. And I think it's just because of the way the third person combat works in that game. Yeah. It feels much better. And I'm sitting here thinking, and I know hardcore fans of New World are probably gonna get mad at me for saying this because they want the developers to work on something, you know, work on new content and stuff. But I think you could bring New World to the console to tremendous success, actually. Why not? Why not bring it to Game Pass, baby? Get a whole because, fresh because where is New World? I, I today? think remember it like it like was like yeah, peaked at a million players. It was like a phoenix rising yeah. from the ashes. <laughs> now, I, 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 think, I think New World, 
don't get me wrong. I think New World has its criticisms, and there is a lot of things they can pr- improve, just like Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft. But I do think, I don't know. I, it's, sometimes I feel like New World gets a little too much flack. Well, for, I know, you know, you know, I what know I mean? like I, the MMO crowd doesn't like it's like more sandbox nat- nature or people that I've talked to. Well, I, I think New World and, and look, I've I, I jumped into New World this week to try. I'm not like a hardcore New World player, right? Um, what are those called hardcore noobs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I have played through New World, leveled a character. I'm, I'm actually leveling another character right now because I'm just kind of having fun leveling. But uh, I, I'm not like in New World every day like I am like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy. At least right now, maybe when the next expansion comes out, I'll hit it hard like we did with the last one. But um, I, I think New World is is fine. I, I I think sometimes it gets a little too much flack for 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 what it is. I don't know. I I, I think I think it's fine. But again, like I cool. said, I'm not I mean, I'm not on wanna, it every day. So if you I don't know. Get the, like a nice infused but, um, injection. I would jump into New World if it came. No, I well, I well in New World. I think has less of a barrier to entry than like world of warcraft um because it's modern well no but because it's it's pay and then play and that's it there's no subscription i like it so yes um, i actually think the guild wars model uh, like final fantasy i think has like even though final fantasy has a subscription model it's much more approachable because the free trial is ridiculously long like it's one to 60 you can just download it jump in and play with yeah you have certain restrictions, but it's nothing that will really t- take stuff away. David R says New World is awesome. No, it, it really is. I playing it. There was one I had to fix some camera sensitivity, which did take me a minute to find in the settings. And you can tell, like they they just made native. There, there's a few things they can adjust to make the controller better. But I actually pref- playing this week, and I played it for two days this week. I prefer playing with a controller on New World. I, I think it feels better. It, it it I think the way the game is designed, that third person more action combat just fits better on the controller. And I really like it. So and th- I think they can bring it to console. So how old is Final Fantasy fourteen? Oh jeez. Uh when did they come out? A Realm Reborn. What was it like twenty twelve? So a wa- so pff, a I'm long actually curious. Time. So twelve years. Twelve years old. So I started this conversation because we were, or I asked you, what we started this Final Fantasy talk because I asked you, what have you been playing? You said you jumped into this because it was on the console. Because we were just talking about Xbox, the average game is seven years old. Spicy, what game? 2010. What game have you been playing on the Xbox? On the Xbox, uh, Persona 3. And how, and yeah, Which is what technically, is Persona 3? It's a new game, but it's an old yeah. game. <laughs> Yeah, Persona. I guess Battle uh, Three, uh, Baldur's Gate Three is probably that's your newest game, yeah. yeah. So 2006 Persona Three, and granted, this is Reload. Now this is Reload, which is so a new game. It but did it's... just release, but did it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, did it yeah, really? Um, but yeah, I've been actually most of my time gaming has been Hell Divers on the PC. Uh, it's that good. That. It's that good. I I know tons of people that just say it's just pure fun. It is. It's they they do a lot of fun things in that game. There's. Jordan made fun of my level because I've only jumped into like two missions. Son of a bitch. Well, <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, you know, you're you're just getting into it. I want you to get into like, I want you to work on your DPS. Okay. Okay. Democracy per second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I want you to work on your democracy per they second. They do like that attitude just correctly. <laughs> like, what, like it's hilarious. But, but so, so Baldur's Gate is probably the newest game. For you, persona. I mean, persona. How are you liking Persona Three Reloaded? By the that's way, that's good. Yeah, it's really how, good. How many hours are you? Because that's that's a, I don't that's know. A big that's I'm, a still, I'm still not very far, relatively speaking. But um, no, because if I, I haven't had a lot of time. But when I am, I'm playing Baldur's Gate with these guys or Hell Divers. But then when I don't want to play Hell Divers, I will play that so i don't know i'm not very i'm still not very far i just picked that up i've been yeah the only game i've been playing is dragon dogma 2 i beat that game this week with oh did you what did you think well of, what did I, you think I, now that I, you've beaten i it? beat the game yep. now i need to get to the real ending ah so because there's so there's multiple endings but then there's a true ending and i'm i reloaded in to do the true ending and how's that and, gone for you I haven't hit it yet. I just beat it last night. Like oh, okay. the base. Well, what did ending. you think of the? Oh, what did you think of it? It's conclusion. so. The, I think the game itself is in, in incredibly good. I mean, it it could be in my game of the year. You know, it's it's that good. It's just it's it's the way that the game presents its gameplay and how you fight monsters and the epicness of the world. 
it, it feels and, and not only that it gives me that fellowship of the ring feel you know <laughs> like i feel like I, you feel like you're in this fantasy world and like when we went up north and visited the elves and i couldn't understand them because i don't speak elf <laughs> like it, that that adds stuff to the game um yeah. i did find out uh it was actually a friend a friend of ours actually told me how to speak elf and i was like oh, okay so I'm, i want to go back and do that quest so i can anyway it's really good it's it's very well done. The main story is meh, I think. Mm-hmm. Like I think it's like it, it's there, you know, to guide you in a certain direction. But I think that game is is best experienced, <laughs> just doing whatever you want, and that's what the game is. Yeah, like I, I I really enjoy it. I think it's a very good game. Yeah, no, absolutely. I do want to shout out OBX Salt Life here in chat. He says he hasn't caught a live stream in a while. He's back here. He says all I play right now is MCC, baby. Master, Very nice. Master Chief Collection? Yep. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's a, it's a fun game. That's a what? A nine-year-old game? 2008 was Halo 3. Oof. But see, Master oh, but Chief Master Chief Col- is a re- yeah, but Master it's based Chief on Collection. games from 2000. But Master Chief Collection came what a year after Xbox One is released? Master Chief Col- right? a couple I think, of years, yeah. I think. Yeah, a couple of years. Oh, uh, I think like two or three years in. Yeah, because I was still okay. What were you saying? House. Sorry, is Master Chief Collection the best com- compilation release that we've gotten? Because we have Mass system n- now that it's fixed. Yes, we have Mass Effect as a compilation. Oh, I get what you're saying. Um, Mario I- All Stars. <laughs> From the Super Nintendo. Mario All-Stars was it. You had one, two, three. You even had some weird couple, a couple weird ones. <laughs> Mario All-Stars is my, hands down, best compilation in one cartridge. Yeah. yeah. Jordan? No, I, I, I would think Master Chief Collection Master is probably, Chief yeah, because it's, it really now, now that it's fixed, what you can do in that game, like, ah, I want to play some Halo 3 multiplayer. Now I want to play Halo 2 campaign. Oh, geez, this is fun. Let's jump into Halo, Halo 2. Like, now that it all works and is fixed. You know what they should do? It, it it's, I think it's, and then they, they added just, Firefight. You now have ODST in there. Yeah, they, like, they should just continue to add to it. So Halo 5 should be dropped. Kind of like classic, kind of like store. World of Warcraft Classic Plus, just Halo Plus. Yeah, just, yeah, just drop it completely as a standalone from the store and it now has to be embedded into Master Chief Collection. Yeah. And just over time, maybe like maybe it, once it's been out for three years, it gets embedded in Master Chief Collection. Oh, and like, the collection yeah, yeah. continues to grow. Because then you could do those cool multiplayer matches that throw you, that you could go like random and it throws you between like Halo 3 and then Halo 5. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be a stark difference. Yeah. <laughs> would be super cool. Hey, can I tell you guys something cool? Give it to me. This week, I got 32 achievements in Final Fantasy Online. Oh, that's not that cool. That's really cool. <laughs> it took 10 minutes for the game to go through them all. Really? So, really? so I've been playing the game for a while. Um, oh, so it counts? So it goes back what happened was stuff? is I went in after I readjusted my controller and got all that set up, and I completed a quest, and I, that completion of the quest triggered something on like the server side, and then just bam. Oh, Every achievement looks back. from the past like five, six years just was... Yeah. yeah. So if you guys are trying to compete with me this month on the achievement leaderboard, <laughs> I no, am up a lot. And it happened on like the first day of, is it April now? Yeah, it happened on like April 2nd. So I was like, yes. Yeah, so I got 32 achievements this week. What'd you guys do? And they were all like 15 to 30 gamer score. Like it <laughs> boosted me. I remember, remember there was the, hey, yeah. speaking of being boosted, yeah, can boosted. we talk about Discord boosting their views on YouTube by accident? And now they're the number one YouTube video. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't heard heard this. Yeah. No, I okay, well, have it. So April Fool's was this week, right? So everybody's oh, so doing. So they did their and, and loot box. I think I'm getting old it. to where I just, I'm getting tired of April Fool's. But anyway, well, here's this, the thing. this was great though. <laughs> This was great. So Discord did a 30-second video. You can even pull it up, Mark. It was fake loot box. It was uh, their April Fool's was loot boxes now in Discord or introducing Discord loot boxes. It's literally, is, is it even like a minute video? It, it's just a short video that they yeah. put up as an April Fool's joke. The previous, and what happened is it broke the record. That's it right there. It, 18 seconds? Yeah, look at the views on it. Oh, my gosh, it, 1.4 billion? It broke the record for most views in 24 hours. The previous record was held by Mr. Beast. Yeah. And then I think the previous record before that was also Mr. Beast, and then it was someone else. <laughs> but it, And if you look at the graph, it shattered it. But the reason why it shattered it is because they 
They and used it in their They Discord. accidentally viewbotted it because what they did is they <laughs> embedded the video in their, Discord. in their Discord so you can just see it. Now, they weren't thinking, and, and I think they're being honest when they said that, like, I mean, they were like, even there were, one of the developers was like, put in like a work post how the f is this video getting so many views because like they were so confused uh but it's because the video you now have to click on a link in discord to that'll take you to the video but before it would just show you on the home page or whatever so <laughs> anybody who was using discord watched it and now they are the forever 20 views in 24 that's hours really, record that's holders not really, like that's that. not really view botting it though well no, no i mean well like, that's not really cheating there I, I mean it's just it's well, no, no one's saying there. I was an accident. Oh, it's just it's like just no one's, no one's. It's, it's just the, it just so it. Ha, so they, I they fell for this do one. This, they didn't do this intentionally. They just were like, oh yeah, put it in the Discord announcement so everybody can see. It's so like our I joke. So I fell for and this it, one, and I was going through, and I was like doing uh, undoing the the cards that would like open up a box, and then it would give it to you, and you like had to fill out the cards. And I was like, oh, what am I gonna get here? And then it gets to the end and goes. You're a clown. <laughs> and that's what I was like. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, they got you. Oh, sorry. The previous one. So it was Mr. Beast that used to do it. And then it was GTA 6 that broke the 24-hour record. That's right. But if you if you can pull up the graph mark, they showed it. No one is ever going to beat this record. It, it, it's in, but the way it skyrocketed. Because, like, the graph shows everybody going up in the well, 24-hour. But this the one reason, just straight up. The reason. So a lot of the quote-unquote pranks out there are just foolish and it's nothing that exists in the game. I think the reason this got all the all the looks that it got is because of is it, it was inside of Discord. Like you well, could that, no, that's no, no, that's why it broke. No, no, the but record. you could also go in and open up loot boxes. No, like yeah, loot boxes like were joke. there. It was just a joke. Yeah. But what was funny about the whole thing is the fact that they put it? They put the announcement like where you go to the loot boxes. So they had the video down there, and that was going counting towards the YouTube views. So anybody who opened discord and every time that video played, it got a YouTube view. Yeah. So it shattered the 24 hour record <laughs> and I, it, no one will ever beat it. Maybe next year discord can beat it again. Someone will beat it. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but it was, it was, and then you like see that uh, they showed some developers talking in like a discord chat. And the guy was like, how the, why the F is this video getting so much? Because they were at like a bill. They were like, what is going on? Like, it's just a joke guys. And then finally they realized what was happening and they fixed it on their side. But uh, yeah, that was great. It was really good drama week this week. <laughs> that it was. And what's it sitting at right now? 1.4 billion. Billion that's a, that's views. A B. That is, yeah. That is a B. All right. That does us, Hold everyone. On, oh, on. sorry. Spicy has something. I got okay. one more thing, actually. So it's a 500 episode. Did you see me leave during the podcast? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. You're, there was like a, a third of our screen. Uh, a third of our screen. My, <laughs> wife, well, my wife texted me. So uh, she wanted to do something cool oh, for cool. the 500 podcast. Oh, right. Cool. Yeah. We discussed it. Oh, That's okay. what, that, so we had, a, we had a business meeting oh, right, okay, right outside. Okay. okay. So I'm going to pull these out. If you see this right here, I'll actually go in the, the closer. So see these? Yeah, the X1 Bros hats. Those are great. My wife wears them one all the time. Yeah, so she does. Yeah. Yeah, she is. These are, these are rare. We don't sell these. These are these are these are gorgeous. Yeah, those are cool. This is like based on my original hat. So actually, we could put those now on YouTube. We have we've unlocked that feature. Like yeah, to sell them, sell them sell underneath, okay. underneath well, the video. These are going to be signed copies. Oh, very cool. So um, if you're okay with this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we yeah. I had this business meeting without you, <laughs> and I wanted to do it at the end of the show for those that actually listen to the full show. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. Because so, I wanna I wanna. Just, you know, throw back to those. That yeah, we don't want the five-minute sallies. <laughs> that, that only read the title of the video <laughs> and then comment on how we're dumb. But uh, so I was thinking we could do, um, I want to release three on different sections because I want to support the people on YouTube. I want to support the people, or not support, but thank those that support us on all platforms, sure, right? Sure, sure, You know, so I was thinking, I wrote these down. I was thinking we could give them away for, um, for those watching this video. Uh, as a VOD, put on the the comments. Just put your um name your, your address, your full no, address, name your first episode, social security you number, address, yeah. all that. Stuff. So yeah. on the VOD of this show, name the first episode you watched, and no purchase necessary or anything. We'll in just, comments in in the comments below. Um, Which uh, if you're watching live, you can go do that now in the comments, not can, in chat, not in the chat, in in the comments. Just 
what episode did you were you introduced to us? So we should, what about what about one or two for who's live in chat? Oh, well, that's what I was. I, oh, okay. I, I have a. Oh, I have sorry. A, Go ahead. Continue, I have a list. Continue. I was actually going to do well. Th- so everyone in chat is eligible for the comments because they're here. And I was thinking I'd do because um, <laughs> we're doing a member show after. Yeah, we are. He said, "My first episode was David does Dallas." <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna. These are the locations for for those that want a signed hat. My ex, my white X one bros hat. YouTube right now in the vod comments. I'm gonna do when we do the member show after this. We'll do a drawing live uh, for for you guys that support us directly. Okay, I like looking at the screen with just half. half it's it's, a, it's honestly annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was also thinking, David, you so, talked about the Apple Podcast reviews. Yeah. Um. So for. One week, um, we'll take uh, until like four eleven. Write a review on Apple Podcasts for us. Yeah, boom. And uh, make sure you give us your Discord name because that's the only way I think on that. Just say yeah y- your Discord name on our channel. Is that okay? Discord name, yep. Discord, and then we can obviously. Contact and if you're not you. joined Discord, I think there's a link in the description. <sighs> and then I will also. Do I was thinking we could do we'll create a channel on Discord itself, like one of our forum posts, um, and just go post in there and then for one week and then we'll just grab 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 it from there. Does that sound like a good plan? Very cool. So once again Wait, what about live? Live is live is gonna be the comments below. Oh, live still does comments. Live and then com- also we'll do another one for, for members. The, for members, so comments below, members uh, Discord channel and then Apple podcast reviews. So those four, um, we're going to give away three in each section. Very cool. So three hats like in it. each one spicy. of those. Well done. I Mrs. Mrs. McSpicy. Yeah, well she's, done. She's, re- she's really well good. Done. So, and they're going to be signed hats. If your guys are okay with that. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, thanks those that listen to the full show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, huge thank you to everybody. Guys, that does us for today. Happy 500. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by, for joining us, for being here. If you're a member, the fun's not over. The fun has just begun because we got a member show right after this. Also, you only can win one. <laughs> Limit one. <laughs> Limit one win. No if purchase over, necessary. You can overlap, but only win one. No purchase necessary. No purchase necessary. This is just for you guys that <laughs> support us over the years. So. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time. See you next week on episode 501. Woo!